Well, welcome back everybody. So this week we're finally back outside. Just dug one of my fence post holes. So taking a breather, getting ready to start my second one. Showing on some of the past videos that last year we did about 70 foot of privacy fence down the far side of the property. Then we took off with black chain link from there moving down and then partway across the front. But then I never got any further than that. So now getting back to that, I'm at least getting these two posts on this side and then I'll have to get on my line post, top post and wrap all the way back to this point. Instead of using power equipment, I am doing the holes by hand. There is a water line that comes down this side of the hill and down to the barn at the bottom of the hill. So gotta be a little bit careful. But gonna go and get this post in and then while the concrete's setting up, we're gonna get started on flower beds. I kind of debated back and forth on placement on this thing. If I move it closer to this barn, I don't have to cut a bunch of trees out down there to make a straight shot to the bottom of the property. If I move it over this direction to the property line, it makes the backyard look bigger, probably preferable. Wish I would have done that on the other side, so I need to do it here, but then I'm gonna have to cut a bunch of trees out down here and clear a path for the fence to go, so I don't have to zigzag around the trees, but. I'm going to go and do it the way I should instead of the way I could easier. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Well, we just did a Lowe's run, got more supplies, so now to actually get to some real work and get all these line posts put in.
Well, as you can see behind me, the weekend kind of turned into a rainstorm and there's lightning in the area. So probably not the best time to be driving metal poles into the ground. So gonna wrap this video up, call it a weekend on this project. But tomorrow we're probably gonna go get our storage unit set up, start putting stuff in storage. So we'll show you the size storage unit we're getting. Basically we're gonna get what we get and if something doesn't fit in it, we don't keep it. We're gonna get that, whoop, there's the lightning. So we'll get that process going. And then whenever the weather clears, Maybe. <laughs> it even says alert lightning in Eatonton. Okay, anyway, so whenever the weather clears, we'll get back to the fencing and then we'll wrap that up, flower beds, and keep moving forward. So thanks for watching, and if you've been enjoying, make sure to subscribe. See you guys next time.